me Jenny. I'm in, I made like a little setup here so I can have some window light to show you guys an updated get ready with me. I just showed you what I put in my hair. Um, whenever I get out of the shower, I put these clips in like this to kind of give my bangs the, the little curtain shape. I think that's what they're called. And I thought I would do an updated makeup routine. It's been a minute since I've done one of these. I feel like I've been getting a lot of questions like in my videos when I actually have my makeup done. I don't know if it's just that everyone <laughs> I suddenly look so glowy because I feel like in my vlogs I rarely have makeup on so I don't know if it's when I do sit down videos that people are suddenly like, uh, it's much more shocking. And I thought we could just do a talk through today, do a little chatty, G-R-W-M. Subscribe if you haven't yet, I would love to have you forever or for a minute, could be fun. We're gonna start with say sun visor this is a tinted skin sunscreen right now i'm in between foundations i'm waiting for an ilia foundation to get to my house that i ordered when they did a sale so i feel like i'm gonna try that one out for summer and the one i just finished was the kosas skin tint and i really liked that a lot so i'm not necessarily switching because i didn't like it but i just am curious about the ilia one because i think they're a very similar um product from what it seems like so i just want to try them both and see if i like one better so right now luckily i have a little bit of a tan i've been in the sun a little bit so i feel like my skin is actually looking quite nice right now um, so it's not really a big deal that I don't have foundation, um, thank god. I will do an updated skincare routine because I do feel like I've made some switches and my skin has just, seems to be looking more consistently clear these days. Like I don't really get zits, but still get like clogged blackheads and pores, but yeah, let me know if you want to see that. I already got a call, okay, now... I'm using the a beauty counter. This is like the Touche Clot um, Nah Golf, I would say. Um, dupe, as the beauty community would say. I'm just putting that under my eyes. I don't do this all the time, but like if I'm doing a video, I think it's nice to brighten my eyes or if I'm going somewhere that I wanna look put together. I'll do that. I think I like to mix this one with, hold on one second. Okay, this one, um, for summer, it gets so hot, sweaty, moist. Um, the Kosas concealer, the lid broke for me, but this one seems to stay more, like it has a higher staying power from what it seems like. So under eyes, done. Now, I've been using this very dirty, bronzer stick. This is also from Beauty Counter. I do really like their makeup. And I just do like a little bronzing contour on the side like that. And then I go up around my forehead. And then while I blend it in, I've been using this. This bronzer is <laughs> unbranded, which is funny because I feel like their whole marketing strategy was like to not have branding, but then I also just like forget their name. So I have no idea what this brand was called. Um, so maybe a little flawed there. I saw that if you have a rounder face, you're supposed to blend the bronzer down like into the hollows of your cheeks, which I guess makes sense. Um, so I wouldn't say I have a huge rhyme or reason to anything that I do for makeup because I just feel like I do what works. Bronzer's nice. It helps me stay glowy. I actually do like this um, Bite Beauty. I've had this for so long. In Honey Wheat, I'll go like this. This is like a new, not new, but something that I feel like I notice that I like the way it looks. I go like on the corner of my eyes. I feel like it like hollows my eyes out a little bit more because I have very almond eyes. Um, I don't even know what it does, but something about it makes eyes seem like more prominent or something. And I'm gonna blend in my concealer. It is so nice to be in New York right now. I have definitely been wearing more makeup because I think I've been excited that suddenly I have like places to go. I have people to see. 
and it's just been so long of like not really wearing any makeup at all. It's very rare that I put on like a real face of makeup. I've been having fun doing that. I feel like it feels good. I've been having my AC off right now while I'm filming this is already getting so hot in here. Um, but I'm not complaining. I'm really not. Okay, next, let's do eyebrows. I really like this product, Kosas. Whoa, airbrow. I bought this because I feel so sick of eyebrow products running out so, so quickly. I feel like all of the ones I've tried that are any type of wand, which I feel like I do like the wand with product. However, they all seem to run out within like a week or two or they dry out. It just doesn't seem like there's ever that much product in there. And this looks promising that it looks like there's a lot of product so hopefully this lasts I feel like I've had it for like uh maybe like a week or two and also I feel like the hairs right here are so much lighter on my eyebrows that when I don't fill them in a little bit they look kind of they don't look as good as they could. Hey guys, I've been making, what are some updates I have for you? I have been making podcast episodes. However, I just haven't been uploading them. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I'll get around to uploading them all, but making podcast episodes still makes me like a little nervous or something. So I've been working on them and they've been fun for me to just like have a little outlet, but I know people keep asking where they are. Okay, I pulled out this palette again the other day. This was a make makeup palette. Really rarely use eyeshadow palettes. However, this one was one that I bought because I love the colors. But I like this like terracotta color. So I feel like I'll just, I also recently have an eyebrow brush coming in, or I mean an eyeshadow brush because I feel like I don't own a single brush anymore. And that's just really subtle. Um, I've never been like a huge eyeshadow person, but I do feel like it brings your look together a little bit more, especially when it's just like a slightly darker brown um, than your skin tone. Tata Harper, TT Harper, Tata, we love her. I love this stuff. This is actually one of my favorite beauty products. Um, oh, wait, sorry, we're not gonna do that. Okay, I will put this on my cheeks, kind of like that. The sun would hit the top of my nose. I love the sun kissed look on the top of my nose. I feel like it definitely, I don't know. I feel like it makes me look good. Have a little sunburn without the risk. And okay, I'm just adding this in for fun. I've been doing this every so often when I take Instagram pictures. I've been overlining my lip a little bit with this Kaiser Weiss lip pencil. Mm which is really not like me. I feel like this is an extra step that I had only played around with. And I'll fill in the same lip color. And also sometimes I color outside the lines on my lips, which works like 70% of the time. I feel like Sometimes they just look messy, um, but sometimes it looks like the vibe of you just ate a cherry popsicle and um, that's cute. To finish it off, I lost my eyelash curler. I cannot find it anywhere. So I would usually curl my eyelashes and then right now I'm also trying out the Kosas mascara. Okay, and also sometimes I do, <laughs> I've been doing a, I like pencil liner so much better than liquid eyeliner because I kind of like that look of like, oh, you have like a little bit of leftover mascara or like leftover eye product from the night before, the day before. My hair is dry. I usually just let this air dry. Looks pretty good today. Um, I also made, I dyed my hair darker again, y'all. I just decided I don't know that I'm a light-haired person um, and I already immediately feel way better because I'm starting to feel not like myself and look these bangs dry perfectly 
like this. And then I would hit it with some hairspray perhaps if I really wanted to make sure my bangs stayed put. Um, I've been doing for summer makeup. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. You probably didn't because this is very basic, simple makeup. But these products that I've been using, I feel like I do really like. I really F with all of them. And I feel like good brands here that I've been circulating with that I would definitely support. I hope you all enjoyed. And thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below and tell me something you're looking forward to for the summer and I'll see you all in the next one.